What up, YouTube? Oh, what a day, guys. What a day. This is Backwoods Hickelope here. And I have tried to do this a little bit better. I've tried it three times to make this darn video. So I'm just going to hold it in my hand and tell you about what I got. All right. The patches in front of me. I'm part of the Jackalope crew, which was the Angry Jackalope. He's on YouTube. And check him out. We talk about all kinds of crap. We do a lot. He does a live chat every Saturday. And we all change our names to a lope. So mine was Backwoods. So I decided to call it Backwoods Hickalope. So tonight I am going to show you a knife that I just got today about no more than an hour ago because I've been screwing around with this video long enough. I'm done. But I'm just going to do it by hand now. Not from a tripod that keeps screwing up. That I don't have for because I'm using a phone. So the knife I'm going to show you is the Perkins hunting knife. Yeah. And first look at it. Got a beautiful design. Love how they do that. I don't know how they do it, but blows me away um this here is ram's horn brass pins uh cheesy little leather lanyard leave it don't need it um the first thing i noticed when i grabbed a hold of it it felt pretty good i uh, didn't really feel any hot spots and then i examined it a little closer and i noticed that the pins right here have lips. They need to be sanded down. This one here, this one here, and that one's smooth as silk. Flip it over, everything's smooth as silk. Lip, smooth as silk, smooth as silk. Once again, a lip. Um, now, Perkins, I'm going to tell you right now, please, you guys got to pay attention to detail. Because there's a lot of little things here that I want to point out. Now, I get it. This is handmade. Okay, this isn't CNC machine. And it's got a robot arm pushing it through a grinder, making them sharp and all that crap. I get it. I understand. And it's also 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. So, but we we'll take it for a grain of salt for what it's worth. But guys, please, you can't let stuff like that get out. You really can't. Smooth it out. Make sure everything's good before you mail them out, please. Now, I noticed right here that it, right where the handle begins, that's sharp as crap. Smooth that back. I mean, come on. And if you notice already that the blade is not straight that blade is supposed to be straight now don't know about you but that's that's a no-no for me either that's straight too right there see now it is somewhat sharp uh, i will probably drop it a couple more times and uh, I probably resharpen again myself. Try to straighten that out. I can't straighten it out. I mean, that's just for me. I think that's just too much. But I'll do it the best I can. Um, quarter inch steel, Damascus steel. Um, I'm not going to put this through no torture test, nothing like that. Cause I just think it's beautiful. Man, I love that stuff. I mean, that's. That's beautiful to me. I, I love it. And the little uniqueness to it, I get that. I get the uniqueness to it. But, you know, a little, could have round that over a little bit more. Oh, yeah, also, Perkins, uh, make the handle about that much, uh, where my fingertip is, a little bit longer. And it's just a little, I know it's a, I know it's a neck knife. It's supposed to be like that, but just a little bit more. Just a little. And I think this would be great. Straighten that out. Make sure everything is smooth before you send it out. And I think you guys can have a home run on that one. 
I mean, you really do. But right now, I'm going to give you a six on it. Six stars out of ten. It, it's just got too many blemishes to not give you a good super review on right now. Now, the next cheesy part that you guys should need is Bison Kydex. Okay? Do Kydex. That's your sheath. It is single stitched. Um, God, I, I, I say it's leather, but when I put it, the knife in, and I'm not going to now because I'm holding my freaking camera because it's not wanting to cooperate with a stand of any sort, I heard it starting to seam, the seams are starting to break already, the stitching. So it held it in there. Don't get me wrong. It got in there and I was shaking to death and it wasn't going nowhere, but it's not meant to go upside down. It's just regular, straight up, down, just like so. You know, where he, most of them are dangle upside down like that and lock in there. Not that one. So, uh, Perkins, I would suggest get it into Kydex. Um, I'm probably going to send this blade off. Where'd you go? Oh. I'm going to send this blade off to some good Kydex guy and have him make a Kydex sheath for it. Um, but other than that, I, I do like this knife. I think it's beautiful. Um, everything seems to fit just like this perfectly. That I, I that I'll give them. I got uh, one more knife I'm going to buy from them, and try to give them a benefit of the doubt. Get the boys back in there. Let's put him back in the frame and see what happens. Uh, he's on his page. Man, this guy's got some beautiful looking knives. I'm, I'm talking, I mean, stuff like that. Large blades that look like they're, could be 500 bucks, 600 bucks plus. Um, I did see one review where he was trying to copy a tracker and he totally failed on the tracker. Um, it's details. I mean, there are little details, Perkins, you guys have got to pay attention to. But like I said, once again, I understand these are handcrafted, not CNC machine and mass produced like Schrade and all those other guys and, you know, uh, Kershaw and all those guys. I mean, I understand that. I, I get it. But just pay attention. So other than that, if you like this kind of nice, like I do, oh god, that's freaking gorgeous! I love it! 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 Go out and buy it. I mean, it ain't gonna break your budget. These are budget knives. I buy budget knives because I don't have all the money in the world to buy, you know, a Chris Tanner Honey Badger and stuff like that. I ain't got that kind of money, so I stick to these kind of things. So if you like it, subscribe. Tell your friends far and wide, just like Jackalope would say. And I will see you later.